Thanks for tuning in and watching this. This is gonna be a three video series about how to build one of these passive solar heaters for your structure, for your chicken coop, your barn, or if you even want to put on your house, you can do that too. Okay, step one, we're gonna talk about the pop cans, how to prepare them uh, and then seal them together. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I take the lids off of the pop cans so they look like this. So take your pop can, you wanna take this part of it, this part of it, and right where it's close to the lip up there, you'll just slowly push in, you'll feel it slightly give. And then I put this finger out to hold the pop can uh, perpendicular to the cutter, otherwise the cut starts to go weird around it. Then I slowly turn around, Then once it gets all the way finished, it fall off. And I'll show you the end product here. You'll notice how it's a pretty clean cut around. So what we'll do is it's going to sit together like that eventually. Okay, I'm going to show you what not to do after you get it set. So right, right about there. If I don't hold on to this and I push really hard at twist, it's gonna go around and it's gonna get stuck like that. It's gonna look really bad. That's why you have to go right on the lid, the cusp of the top up there. And just twist it around. And this is still safe. This is still salvageable. It's not perfect. Okay, and here it is in the dishwasher, all the pop cans. I like to wait and do a lot of pop cans at once. I'm gonna just set the side down. Okay, now I'm going to show you the mold that I'm making. I took a full pop can, unused, and I put some wax paper around it and taped it up, taped the bottom. And I'm gonna set that on the inside of here and then put some foam around it. Just center that a little bit. Put some foam around it. You can see I just used some scrap uh, pieces of some thin wood. And all I do is just throw some glue on there. Look, this piece isn't even, like, it's not even touching right there. It's fine though, the foam is what's gonna give it the support and structure. This is just, the box is just to hold the foam in place and then I'm using Great Stuff Foam. All right, let's go ahead and try this. I'm just gonna put a layer of foam around the bottom first. And come back to fill in the rest. been like five minutes and the expanding foam um, was strong enough that it split it apart so I put some duct tape around and it's burying the can so I'm gonna uh, cut some of this off so I can get the can out. Okay the next step is to take my four nails and take the current point on it and sharpen it to a finer tip and I'm just using this to sharpen them. Okay, I cut a couple of pieces <clears throat> here. I just used some leftover lumber and I used a 3 8 spade bit and a 3 quarter spade bit. Started with the 3 quarter to countersink this a little bit. And that's where the head of these nails go. I got these uh, four, what are those, uh, eight inch nails from Home Depot. They'll, they'll go in here, countersink it. And then I drilled the rest of the way through uh, with these 3 8 uh, this 3 8 spade bit. Okay, here's the piece now. You can see the four 
sharp tips up there. I didn't quite have my three quarter inch uh, spade bits quite far enough apart. So just make sure that they don't touch the other circles. This isn't quite flush. What I'd like to do is hit the top of this with a hammer and put all four of these in at the same time. So what I did was I just got another piece of uh, trash lumber and then did the three quarter inch uh, spade bit and now I'll cover the part right here. So it'll look like, so it'll be flush. And then I'm just gonna glue these two boards uh, together. Then I can hit the top of this with a hammer, which should puncture the can straight down. Okay, I let the foam dry overnight. I made mine a little bit deeper than a pop can because I have some of these energy drinks that are a little bit uh, taller. So, I'll show you what you do. Take the pop can, put it in, push it down, then I take this piece, pull it out, and then when you pull the four out, it makes your four holes for you. So, and then here's the one with the energy drink. So well, works pretty well. One uh, thing I had to do to get the original can out was I drilled a hole in the bottom and then just used the back side of a pencil and eraser to push it out. And I used wax paper uh, for the inside right here. And it works pretty well. Okay, now I'm gonna show how I use adhesive to hold the cans together. I'm using this Loctite um, construction adhesive and I just put a ring around the top of it and then set the cans together. Uh, this is a break right here. So I'm doing it uh, four cans and then a break. And then I'll um, use a manifold to put it together, which will make more sense in a bit. So let me show you. And I set this here. And I twist it. And then I tape it down. I'm just making sure that none of these are raised. And so that, that looks pretty good. And all I did was took a two by four uh, and made a V with it. So I made a 90 degree angle first and then just put in a couple of screws here. So it looks like it's at a 45 degree angle. But that helps keep this nice and straight. All right, here I have already used the adhesive to put five of the cans together. I'm gonna to show you how I do it here. I, I put it on the top already. I take one, and I set it, and then gently twist it to get a good seal. And I'll put tape down on it. And I'll just keep doing that. Okay, so uh, now I have four of them that are gonna uh, be held together with the constructive construction adhesive. And remember, I'm not gonna make one long one because I'm gonna put a manifold um, in the middle of where these will join. And that'll hold it off the, the back so air can go underneath it and around all the cans. 